MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day soul. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. All right, 71. I'm going to make some minor adjustments to get the, the steering so I can at least drive it around a little bit before we get the, uh, the um, front end alignment done next week. So we're going to enjoy uh, the car a little bit this week. Um, the Cody asked me, he said, Will, can, can you do a video on the rubber around my trunk? Well, I can show it to you, Cody, because it was the perfect time when you requested that. Actually, this is actually a, the first Mustang Medic video request. So he wants to see how to do that rubber seal around his trunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the rubber seal off of the trunk of the 72 just to show you how to get it out of there because it's got to come out anyway. And I'm going to put the rubber seal in on, the, on our 71 right now because it can be pulled out easily again when they go to paint it. So here's taking the seal out of the 72 and then putting a seal in on the 71, basically the same body, exact body. Uh, so you can see how it's done. All right, so this is the gross dried out rubber seal on the 72. Actually, that's Larry's 71. I'm not tired, guys. I promise. <laughs> it's actually it might be glued in. Sometimes they're not glued in. This one's kind of glued in. I'm going to get, I'm going to rip out part of it. Because this is definitely getting replaced on this car. This is actually phase six work, but I'm doing it so you guys can see it on video. Let me get a piece of it out. This is kind of two hands. Hey, Carlos, can you shoot video over here? Okay, you ready? All right, so right here, I'm basically pulling away. Actually, you know what? I'm not on the 72. I'm on the 70, the, uh, Larry. Larry 71. Ugh. Here it comes. We're going to have to carve this out. But there is the inner seal. It's got like a little lip in it, and it goes into here. So what's going to have to happen is this all has to carve out. And we're going to do that uh, at a later time. But we're basically going to carve this all out. And then what it's going to look like is this. All right, here's what it looks like with the rubber out of the, uh, out of the trunk. So what you do then is you just press the rubber, after you carve it all out, and you press the rubber back in, it sits inside this little groove in here. And you can put a little bead of like silicone, if you'd like, just to seal it. But uh, we're going to do a little bit of cleaning back here. All right, so we got 60 and 5 eighths on both sides. 60 and... Watch a wire wheel, man. It's going off on parts on the uh, 69 GT. Got to appreciate that. Um, so it's 60... What was it? What did I say? 60 and 5 eighths? 60 and 5 eighths. Is that what he said? All right, what's well, on video? 65 and 5 eighths? It's on video what I just said because I was remembering... 60 and 5 eighths. 16 5 eighths. <laughs> uh, 16 5 eighths on both sides. I'm going to tighten up the tie rods. I'm going to take her out for a little spin because that's what I do. And what am I doing? I'm doing it, guys. I'm driving over. I'm going to put her up for a fixed auction price of 20 grand. I said 18, though, before. You think I should do 20? 20. All right. Rebuilt motor, C6. Whole car is 90% there. Just really needs to get a little bit of cleanup on the body and painted. So it's a it's a straight body, rust free. New interior. New interior for the most part. Didn't do the headliner yet. Got Re the headliner. Re got the headliner. Rebuilt got motor. Ah, yeah, but you never offer the parts. Nobody cares about parts. They just care about the car. So. Well, it's 20 grand. It's 20 grand. So I'm going to put it up for fixed price, 20 grand, seven days, or 10 days. And just let it run, and just see what see what happens. And put it out there, and we'll see if it goes. Part of me doesn't want to sell it. Part of me doesn't. The reality is, the business is. Got to sell it. Need a new car. Got to keep moving. Got to keep moving Mustang. So, I'm going to take her out for a spin today. Drive over to the house, and do it. I'm putting her on eBay for the first time. We'll see. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe the car will still be here. We don't know. 
All right, moving on, going to the 64 and a half, and we're going to get a lot of work done on the 72 and finish up phase five. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, Nick's off in the distance, tightening up the tie rods right now. Now we've got them adjusted properly. And these are the um, spring clips for the trunk on the 71. Carlos just sanded them down, and I just painted them all uh, ca uh, cast iron gray. Again, a very durable paint. So basically sealing the springs, and we're going to put the springs back in and we'll keep the trunk open. And I'll put that rubber seal in for you, for you so you can see uh, what that looks like. Guys, I gotta say, this motor just sounds awesome. The 429 Pern with these exhausts, these Flowmasters, it just sounds fantastic. I truly enjoy driving this. MustangMedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below in the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. MustangMedic.com.